Hello guys, today I'm going to show you an American sci-fi thriller film from 2017 entitled The Circle Warning. This is a spoiler content so watch out and take care. The movie opens and we see a girl doing kayaking after a day of kayaking, May Holland is on her way home when her car starts to have troubles and she is forced to pull over on the side of the road. She contacts Mercer, who arrives to take a look at the vehicle. The two evidently have some history and after Mercer is finished looking at the vehicle, May tells him that they should get together sometime and that she'll text him or email him Mercer responds by saying that they could just talk now since they are both present. We should make a plan. I'll send you a text. Or we could do that now since they're both here. May smiles at this suggestion and heads home. The next day, while stuck at a dead-end job, May gets a call from her friend and Annie Allerton. Annie works at The Circle, a powerful tech company and Annie is one of the 40 most influential people in the company, Annie is constantly traveling because of her responsibilities and Annie is surprisingly upbeat and energetic for the amount of stress that accompanies her job. May interviews at The Circle and gets a job in customer experience. An entry-level position that requires her to assist users of The Circle's products and services. She is constantly rated out of a score of 100 by the people she assists and she is very driven to keep her score high. At a company-wide meeting, Eamon Bailey introduces a new initiative called Sea Change, the initiative in bold small cameras that can be placed anywhere and are meant to make the world more transparent. Tom gives a big speech about the human rights implications of these cameras. The cameras come in different colors to allow them to be camouflaged and it took us just a day to do it, and they're virtually invisible. They come in every color, so camouflaging is essential. This initiative is based on the notion of making life more transparent. The Circle owns a very large campus, and it becomes apparent later on that the company strongly encourages its employees to spend a lot of time on the campus. During a company-wide party on campus, Back is performing Annie sneaks May away from the party and takes her to an office, Annie explains that May actually shouldn't be in the office and that it is where Eamon and Tom make the big decisions for the company. After leaving, the office May sees an employee away from all of the events glued to his phone, May approaches and begins a conversation. He asked her if she is a guppy, a term they used at the circle for new employees, and she says she is. He says he could tell and pulls out a hidden bottle of liquor from a bush and offers to share it with May. They carry on a little conversation before he gets a prompt from his phone and tells May that he has to go and give her the bottle of alcohol. The employee's name is Ty, but he doesn't tell May his name. While home for the weekend, May is out of bar back with her family and several other people. Her father, Vinny Holland, has multiple fluorosis and have some difficulty performing normal day tasks without the help of his wife, Bonnie Holland. It is evident that May's parents like me as friend Mercer and would like to see May and Mercer back together. Then he asks me to grab him a beer from inside their house, clearly trying to arrange an interaction between her and Mercer. Would you get your daddy another beer? While inside the house, May and Mercer meet, they discuss Mercer's business, which is making deer antlers into chandeliers. The conversation doesn't last long and May returns to her parents. Back at the circle on Monday, two employees come to May and ask her about her profile on the circle and why it isn't updated. They also noticed that she had been away from the campus all weekend and asked her why she didn't come back for all the activities while they are careful not to make anything seem required, they are clearly trying to get May to open up more on her circle profile and to become more engaged in the company. These employees find out about her dad's health condition that May enjoys kayaking. After the two employees leave, May seems more determined to rise up in the circle by fully embracing all of its social networking tools. At a presentation at the Circle Tom introduces a political candidate who is making all of her communications transparent. Tom applauds this and speaks about how transparency brings accountability. May is in the crowd with Annie and Ty is also in the crowd, but in the back, once the candidate is done talking Ty leaves. During another late night party at the Circle, May again sees Ty glued to his phone. 
She approaches Tai and begins another conversation, Tai then takes her to a restricted area she should not be in and tells that she can't tell anyone that he brought her to this area. He shows her an abandoned underground area and tells her that it's the future of the circle. He says the plan is to keep all information on everyone in this area, not just a political candidate. That said, she would be fully transparent. From Tai's countenance, it is clear he does not like the direction of the circle. It's at this time that Mei discovers that she's been talking to Tai Flight the whole time. She is incredibly embarrassed and is in awe of him because he is the creator of Triyu, a very popular circle product. He then tells her that Triyu has been more of into something that he did not intend and that he has taken a backseat at the circle. He could have a lot of influence over the company, like Eamon and Tom, but it's chosen to remain in the shadows. Sometime later while speaking to her mom, Bonnie shows me a chandelier that Mercer made. She takes a picture of it and shares it on her circle profile. Mercer, who lives off the technological grid, comes to the circle and confronts May about what she did. Mercer gets a lot of hate mail and death threats from people accusing him of murdering animals. May is horrified and asks Mercer if they can go somewhere else to talk about this because people have begun to gather around them and film the conversation on their phones, despite me trying to tell him she didn't mean to hurt him, Mercer storms off. After this traumatic experience, May goes to the cake shop late at night and sneaks onto the premises through a locked fence. She takes a kayak heads out into the bay. The water start to get rough, and fog is settling in. May starts to hear a foghorn of an approaching ship, but can't see where it is because of the fog and lack of light. The waves eventually flip May's kayak over and she is struggling to keep above the water. The Coast Guard comes to the rescue. The next day she is in Eamon and Tom's office explaining what happened. Eamon explains that Sea Change cameras caught her breaking into the kayak premises and also caught her in the water because of the cameras, May was able to be saved in her moment of desperation. He then asks her if there is anything she wants to confess and she tells them that it's not the first time she's been in their office. Eamon then asks her how it feels to tell the truth and she says it's liberating. Eamon then alludes to a plan that they have for her. At the next company-wide meeting, Eamon introduces May on stage and they talk about her experience of being rescued. She explains how transparency is good and states that she is going to be the first circular who goes completely transparent. This involves wearing a small camera on her shirt while she is awake and exposing her whole life to everyone in the world. We see Annie in the audience, and she clearly worn out and not looking good. She looks resentful at May and says under her breath that she is a natural. Being fully transparent has made May a celebrity at the circle, but it starts to hurt some of her close relationships. One night she is looking for her parents through the sea change cameras and accidentally finds them having sex. She quickly turns off away from the camera, but the damage is done. Everyone following May's transparency has seen the couple. Her parents go off gird and distance themselves from May when she is finally able to talk to them, they express that they love her, but being transparent it's just too much for them. May is invited to a high-level board meeting. Annie seems to resent it because someone of her level at the company isn't usually invited. At the meeting Eamon talks about support from all 50 states to allow individuals to vote through Circle accounts, May then takes it one step further and brings up the idea of requiring every individual to have a Circle account. Eamon and Tom clearly like this suggestion, but it upsets Annie, Annie gets vocal about her disagreement and ends up storming out of the board meeting. That the next company-wide meeting May is the leading the meeting and talks about the beauty of transparency. She then states that the Circle believes it can find anyone on the planet in under 20 minutes. She then has the computer randomly selected criminal at large for circulars to find. The computer selects a woman who is guilty of killing her three children and was in prison but escaped. Within 10 minutes, circulars around the world have used phones, see change cameras and facial recognition software to find the woman and her arrested. May talks about how wonderful transparency is and how it can be a tool for good. May then states that this program can be used to find anyone, not just criminals. 
She asks the audience who they should search for next, and someone shouts Mercer's name. My Mercer! She says she wants to leave him alone, but the crowd gets restless. May is trying to dissuade the audience, but Tom tells her that they need to find Mercer and she eventually gives in and asks if they can break their record of 10 minutes. People eventually find Mercer in a cabin. There are multiple people surrounding his cabin and they begin harassing him and asking him why he is an animal killer. Mercer raises to his truck and tries to get away from the people, tracking him. May and the rest of the circulars are watching Mercer being chased through real-time cameras as he is being chased, a drone startles him and he reacts by jerking his steering wheel to the left to avoid the drone. However, he overcorrects and drives his truck off a bridge and dies immediately. May is horrified and takes so leave from the circle and total transparency. She moves back in with her parents and is trying to cope. She eventually call Annie who has left the circle and is out of the country Annie seems to be doing a lot better. During the call may actually tell Annie that connection to others has helped her cope with Mercer's death, despite pleas from her parents, May decides to return to the circle as she is driving, she calls Ty and asks him for a favor. During their conversation, Ty tells her that she won't believe what he has found at the next company-wide meeting, May expresses how connection has helped to recover as she is speaking with Eamon on stage she invites Tom onto the stage and he seems very weary. May then talks about transparency and invites both Eamon and Tom to go fully transparent. As she is talking, she tells them how Ty has found all their accounts, even the accounts that their wives were unaware of and is exposing them in an attempt to become fully transparent, because no one should be exempt. Eamon and Tom are clearly upset, but are trying to keep a good face. Tom eventually turns to Eamon and tells him we are so fucked and storms off stage me then states that transparency is good to the support of all in the audience. May leaves the meeting. It is clear that she believes in transparency and that no one should be exempt from hiding their secrets. The movie ends with May kayaking again and embracing drones around her. She has embraced transparency. Thanks for watching.